We're pleased to have with us Mr. Rajkumar Rishi from Bell India. Uh, so thank you so much for interacting with BW Business World. It's our first interview with you, and we are really honored to have you with us. Thanks, uh, Siddharth and Abhishek, for having me uh, on this, and uh, really looking forward to the interaction with you. So uh, I mean, uh, there is a trend. I mean, people are saying that PC sales would be back in the reckoning in India thanks to the COVID-induced. Uh, Pandemic and the lockdown uh, as an after effect. So, what do you think? Is PC uh, the personal computer going to witness an unprecedented boom in India? Uh, look, uh, what has happened is that there is definitely, uh, you know, with work from home and learn from home, uh, you know, uh, gaining uh, much more uh, relevance in today's uh, scenario. Uh, there is uh, definitely a. Uh, Uh, you know, uh, you know, much higher demand for technology devices, right? And uh, as part of that, definitely, uh, PCs, whether it's a desktop or a, a laptop uh, form factor, uh, would definitely, uh, you know, help uh, uh, the consumers, whether working from home or they're learning from home in terms of schooling or various other activities which have become online now. So, uh, education, it is uh, gaming, it is uh, uh, personal fitness. Or uh, you know the interaction that is ha- happening, uh, you know, both in the business world and the personal world. Definitely, technology devices have taken uh, uh, you know center stage in this uh, environment. And uh, I do believe that uh, you know uh, companies like us have to make sure that uh, we serve you know, the uh, the uh, the upcoming uh, technology requirement of our consumers in as much best way as possible. So, in short, my uh, response to you would be yes. Uh, technology will definitely play a much bigger role uh, into this environment. Uh, right now, people are not going to retail outlets. So, uh, do you think? I mean, online sales will uh, like will gain wider traction than offline. Look, what what is going to happen is that the demand for technology devices is definitely on the up in this you know work from home and learn from home segments. And uh, as part of that, uh, I do believe that uh, there is a space for every route to market, right? E-commerce is, uh, you know, has been growing in the country over the last uh, few years. We all are aware of that, and uh, and also it has, uh, I would say, contributed to the, uh, you know, higher penetration of technology or uh, other consumer goods in the country. And uh, in today's environment, uh, you know, uh, yes, e-commerce will be a key uh, player. But I just like to add that uh, uh, I wouldn't say that uh, any other route to market will lose its relevance, and so we we have ensured that we provide every possible uh, I would say uh, route to market to consumers and leave it to consumer choice as to how they want to uh, engage with us. Uh, during this time, in addition, what we have done is we created an omni-channel experience, which uh, basically what it does is that between our Dell dot com store and our exclusive stores. Uh, we created a, a, a you know a, a cohesive uh, uh, you know arrangement wherein a consumer can uh, come on dell dot com and our dell exclusive store can deliver the goods at consumer residence. Okay, so so those uh, you know as uh, as the uh, market evolves, one has to look at these innovations to you know make sure that. Uh, uh, we give the right accessibility of technology to our consumers. COVID nineteen has brought a lot of supply chain issues, a lot of manufacturing being shut down here and there, and uh, there is an issue with workforce as well. So, uh, how has this particular situation with the pandemic affected uh, Dell India's operation? Uh, I mean, I just like to step back a little bit, and for a long time, and over a decade. Uh, Dell has been focused on creating a connected uh, world for our own workforce, and uh, we had this, you know, I would say, a freedom or enablement given to our employees. Uh, you know, if they want to work remotely, uh, work from home, or work remotely in general. So we, uh, I mean, uh, we are very fortunate that we had that enablement already in place, and hence uh, we've been absolutely connected into this environment. So that is, uh, uh, you know. the first part of your question in terms of how our workforce has been able to cope up with the, you know the situation the second part is that we do have a flexible uh, supply chain in terms of uh, how do we really uh, you know as i said we got a direct dell.com engine that we have and we got a large partner network and a very solid distribution network 
and we do plan you know our own uh, i would say supply chain inventories etc at various levels so i would say uh, you know we've been able to you know manage it uh, reasonably well by through this uh, you know flexible uh, supply chain as we call it and uh, uh, and and entirely focused on uh, making sure that uh, we stay accessible to our consumers so uh, now that we are talking about customer service so uh, the whole country has been under a lockdown for 67 days and uh, borders were sealed and suddenly we found uh, computers are essentials so we are all working from home learning from home everybody is connected through the computer so uh, how was uh, customer service and uh, if something went wrong with a customer who is owning a dell computer how did you address this problem this challenge through this whole lockdown period so there are various ways of uh, looking at this right so one is the uh, the break fix uh, service itself right as to let's say something is broken and how do you fix that so that is uh, you know uh, one part of it the second is a preventive uh, you know service or a preventive maintenance as we call it okay so we uh, our products come bundled with uh, you know such features that you can preempt some of the upcoming uh, uh, failures in the product let's say this this drive hard disk is you know uh, you know going wrong and we can you know preempt that so some of those features exist in the products itself so i would say it's a mix of uh, having the right uh, uh, you know features in the product itself you know making sure that in any case uh, you know uh, we make one of the most uh, i would say uh, you know durable uh, you know uh, products uh, in the industry and then you know making sure that uh, uh, you know it's a uh, it's a mix of uh, uh, you know remote service that we provide then you have to work within the framework given by the government as far as you know delivery of spares or you know a service engineer visiting the customer site we have to respect the framework that the government has provided and within that you know whatever sops exist there are standard operating practices that uh, the government has given and you know as an organization we been uh, you know 100% aligned to that uh, in our small business uh, segment uh, the segment which is focused on the small businesses the small office home office segment there we have what we call as uh, we have a inside the sales rep engine uh, available which conducts business with the uh, you know uh, small business organization on the phone and we call them as our uh, you know uh, the advisors rather than sales reps so they are absolutely equipped uh, in terms of giving the right technology advice to the uh, you know, end customers and we have a you know uh, a list of uh, you know large number of customers that do business regularly with us in that segment and they they are in direct touch with those customers and hence uh, whether it's a sales touch point or the service touch point we are able to proactively manage that rather than just resorting to break and fix whenever the problem comes and in this situation the current uh, you know prevailing situation uh, worldwide and i'm talking more about india uh, we are just making sure that uh, we stay on top of all these elements that are already in place and the fact that we've been uh, you know in any case working Uh, for uh, for a long time uh, you know our workforce was uh, working in a connected manner working remotely working from home etc so we we were i would say you know well prepared uh, as the situation turns out uh so uh, if i'm not wrong the current gst the uh, tax structure uh, for pc is 18 do you think that uh, i mean uh, that the appropriate uh, tax right rate right now or Uh, it needs to be pruned further to make it a bit more affordable across the masses also sir you just said in uh, one of the conversations that you are already making in india right uh, you have your supplier base and all if you can talk about that is there uh, uh, i mean how can you uh, i mean what are the uh, what are your expectations of the government that uh, you can enhance your indigenization of your product we have a flexible supply chain which basically means that uh, you know whether it's manufacturing or whether it's making the distribution to the end customer uh, we have uh, you know a nice framework uh, with which we work uh, we do have a uh, you know uh, you know extremely good manufacturing setup in the country already and uh, and hence uh, you know uh, we've been at the forefront of uh, uh, you know make in india you know from that standpoint so uh, so we've been pretty much uh, i would say using the uh, optimized uh, the uh, the framework in a uh, you know nice manner to you know, make sure that we uh, 
give uh, latest technology for example i just like to draw your attention to the fact that we uh, we have this tel.com uh, site uh, there's an online uh, store for our consumer and small businesses where the end customer can come and configure their own device right and then we have you know we supply the uh, you know uh, the uh, as configured by the customer so that's a very unique uh, model that uh, you know we have uh, in the country so whether it's you know uh, config to order whether it's you know making sure that we have our channel uh, the entire uh, distribution organization supplying uh, the products to uh, end customers or we are working through our uh, you know sb small business technology advisors to uh, you know recommend the right products and configure the right products for the small business organizations so and then supported by a manufacturing setup locally and also uh, you know mix of uh, international you know imported goods so i would say we are pretty much uh, on top of that now uh, the tech structure is what you know we work within the framework so i wouldn't like to you know comment on that i would rather focus on the fact that uh, you know i whether i am able to uh, create the right technology and right uh, solution for buyers in the various segments that we address during this particular pandemic the current pandemic situation that we are in uh people are moving on to computing and budget computers are also an option because everybody wants to get online there is remote learning there is uh, work from home so are you looking at addressing the budget segment as well okay, so the way we address is that at the core we try to make sure that uh, you know we provide the right technology uh, to our uh, end customers in various segments right now the various ways of making it affordable to the end customer right so one of the ways is to provide the complete solution rather than just giving a product for example at this point of time we are running uh, offers where you you know you can uh, you know bundle a printer or a headset or a additional warranty we we uh, you know we have an additional warranty uh, you know bundled with the product so once you buy a product then you are uh, you know covered for uh, years to come to the life of that device okay on affordability i spoke about the uh, the emi the, the equalized monthly installment options that we run on each and every uh, you know product that we have now within that uh, i i would say today's uh, consumer is uh, pretty well informed okay uh, he or she is actually looking at the entire gamut gamut of thing whether you're getting a complete solution or not whether you're getting an affordable way of buying or not whether you are covered for your you know warranty and service for you know few years to come or not so we try and address each one of them right and also make sure that the pc that a consumer is buying uh, that also uh, has the multi uh, i would say features whether to for work for entertainment etc so i would rather focus on that rather than just focusing on the price point so how big are you betting on tier 2 and tier 3 cities Are there the next growth markets for you? If yes, will your offline retail expansion be more towards these cities? The good news uh, uh, is that uh, our, our uh, you know the the spread of PC is definitely growing across various uh, tier cities, right? Okay, and we are definitely uh, seeing that uh, more and more tier two, tier three, even tier four cities are uh, looking for uh, uh, you know technology adoption. Okay. and uh, so from our standpoint uh, just to give you a few data points i spoke about uh, our dell exclusive stores okay and our dell exclusive stores are currently uh, present in 350 plus towns okay so that's a kind of spread uh, we have of our own exclusive stores number one then number two we uh, we partner very strongly with the large format retail as well as the mom and pop uh, multi brand outlets uh, which have uh, spread in even you know uh, equal number or at times in, in few more cities as well Uh, we have a distribution network we have you know our own national distributors are present in each and every state to distribute uh, distribute the products uh, actively and on top of all this we got the dell.com engine right the online store that we have and we can supply in each and every nook and corner of the city so we use a mix of all these uh, channels at our disposal to uh, service uh, you know the various sets of uh, you know towns and customers uh, across but you are right uh, tier 2 and tier 3 and even tier 4 towns Uh, are definitely our focus during this pandemic are you running any special offers we are running uh, special offers at this point of time a consumer working from home uh, the consumer definitely needs a technology device which you know uh, pc is at the forefront as far as that is concerned 
uh, there are consumers who would need a headset uh, you know the way we are now conducting this discussion on uh, zoom or uh, on video uh, you know that's happening across uh, uh, you know platform whether it's work or whether it's your you know personal engagement okay but at times so, and hence you need a headset which makes sure that your uh, the uh, you know audio quality you know stays intact then at times you also if you are a student uh, working at home you may also need a printer so we have bundled a printer along with our you know device so we have done it uh, you know for various parts of our products okay and i spoke about the emi is already now how do we communicate in this environment we are using the digital media the social media very effectively i would say and uh, you know to make sure that uh, uh, we reach our consumers uh, in today's connected world uh, more effectively and uh, uh, so that's that's what uh, is at the forefront uh, but at the same time we do Uh, run various campaigns for example recently we ran a campaign for our small businesses we ran a tv campaign recently in the recent weeks uh, to get across to our uh, you know end customers in that segment so it's a mix of various media we use uh, but definitely digital media uh, you know becomes pretty relevant into this situation so uh, with uh, everybody being under lockdown what kind of uh, segments of uh, devices have seen growth during Uh, covid lockdown and what has happened is that there definitely many more first time buyers uh, into this environment right the families uh, uh, who had uh, earlier let's say one pc at home they need multiple pc at home because uh, there are uh, families where now both the kids are attending school online and hence uh, you know it's a it can't be one after another because uh, the schooling happens at the same time right and there are uh, gamers who are now playing games online right they're online gaming uh, uh, happening among friends uh, at this point of time and so uh, i would say it's a uh, you know is definitely growth across segments but first time buyers yes first time buyers is one of the uh, key segment which is seeing uh, huge growth along with gaming so uh, could you tell us about how dell india has been uh, helping out the uh, customers and the country in terms in times of covid uh, we have this dell aram uh, program that we've been running in the country for around 4 years this now and this program is, uh, is is not exactly under csr but this program is focused on educating the teachers and the students uh, on the use of technology in education and uh, i'm very you know proud to share that uh, over the years uh, we have trained a large number of uh, teachers and students under this program right and as this uh, you know current situation came up the seminars that we used to conduct face to face that we have moved to uh, you know uh, to uh, to webinars uh, now and we continue to you know uh, focus on that one so that is the uh, you know that is that is uh, one of the uh, you know uh, focus for us uh, other than that uh, you know we we obviously you know uh, highly focused globally and india on the Uh, on csr as well uh, for example uh, you know uh, we are partner to ministry of uh, family and healthcare uh, for the ayushman bharat uh, the ncd program the non communicable disease program and we have developed a technology platform uh, which is being used uh, across many states i'm told around 21 states and uh, you know so that's that's something uh, you know uh, we are we are very proud of uh, being engaged with that and we are in the uh, you know, as a result of that we are able to enhance the entire ncd software uh, system uh, with a module of uh, covid-19 risk assessment and monitoring of ncd patients so with the unlock one manufacturing has started up uh, in different places in india so what are the current challenges and problems uh, that you think will happen i i won't say the challenges you know we are extremely laser focused on making sure that we bring technology to our consumer and and customers okay and as i spoke about the flexible supply chain we have so now whether it's the supply chain and the logistics or the manufacturing we do have a manufacturing setup in the you know country uh, in state of tamil nadu so we we would ensure that we uh, you know work within the sop provided by the government uh, by the central and the state governments uh, they have uh, well defined sops and uh, as an organization our focus is to you know make sure that uh, the safety and health of our employees and our partners uh, across uh, the uh, you know framework is at the priority 
and the, to that extent uh, we have to make sure that we uh, uh, stay uh, you know absolutely within the firm framework of sop and we have done that and uh, uh, you know and i'm quite uh, you know uh, uh, you know very pleased to you know share that we've been able to you know uh, make sure that within the sop given we are able to you know provide our technology and services to consumers uh, uh, you know as per the expectations uh, largely